Hello. Time for a little crawler update. It's been a little while. This is the Element Enduro Night Runner. And I made this silly body out of an old half broken one that I had. Put these extraordinary flares on there. And um, it actually works pretty good. It's bottoms out just right. And uh, on the back, the back's a little weird looking because the body's kind of too short. But it gets some decent articulation. Proline scalar shocks in there. And those work really good, except the springs aren't great for this truck. The front springs need to be a little heavier and the rear springs need to be a lot softer. So I've experimented with some other ones, but I don't have anything soft enough for the rear. And I didn't like having the front stiff. So anyways, that's how that's going. Otherwise, this thing is pretty much stock. Right now I have these goofy wheels on there because they fit and they're kind of fun, but they're not proper crawlers. They're a short course. Well, that's one way to get the body off. These are those short course tires you can see with the different diameter on the inside of the rim. Not very scale. Anyways, this is the body I made for the Techno for that guy before I got a basher bodies for it. And this is two, two cheap drifter bodies glued together with some tape in between and a whole lot of silicone. It held up pretty good, but it couldn't handle the techno. Should be fine for a crawler though. And I got a, some minimal lights put in there. All the lights broke when I had it in the techno. So last time I was out, the motor finally failed. One of the brushes broke. I'm not sure if you can see that in there. So time for a new motor. And while I was at it, I figured it was time to get rid of this little ESC also and try out one of these. So I got a Fusion SE 1800 KV. I didn't think the Pro was necessary for this. 1800 should be plenty fast for this thing. The independent front suspension, it's just a, it's a scale crawler thing. Anyways, heard good things about this, so psyched to try that out. I already took the transmission out and re-greased it and the bearings were kind of not in great shape but I just put them back in because I didn't have any extras and then of course after I put it all back together I found some fresh bearings so throw that in there and while I'm at it I thought I would put some new tires on here too so these are RC super swamper style tires they were on super sale so I super got them and they should fit with these stock wheels with the stock wheels that come with the night runner these are great tires but you know just for a change they're a little bit bigger and yeah a little little change of pace and one other thing i did got some little brass extenders too in case i need those make it a little wider a little little tiny bit of extra weight all right well let's get all this stuff put together and see how it looks got all my piles I'm gonna get these out so they don't get stuck pile those up there pile this up in here i'll just put that on there and just don't need those probably need all the other wheels put those on there and just make a big pile and done there we go all done looking like a some kind of monstrosity yeah decent decent articulation for a basic thing the rear gets better than the front it's got that solid axle but yeah should be pretty fun these are way stickier so they'll go up the hills way better this is what i was talking about with the springs these are pretty soft but i think they'll work and i did some adjustments here I took these little metal pieces that are on the front normally, flipped them over so that the rear end sits a little lower. On the front, I just removed them completely and attached it right to the top of the hoop. So, so it's pretty level. Everything fit in there nicely. Found a, one of these after I had made one. So didn't really need to do that but I still going to switch those over once all the parts get here. Anyways, that's it. Let's give it a little bench test. <laughs> pretty, pretty controlled. 
So smooth. Yeah, <laughs> nice and grippy. Don't quite have the articulation of a proper thing, but pretty decent. Anyways, so yeah, pretty psyched. Can't wait to go give that a try. Well, that motor is awesome. Uh, it's just a tiny bit faster than the one that came in there. I gave it a good water test, slogged it around through all kinds of mud and sandy mess and it's still working good. Uh, yeah, tires are pretty good. That's great. We'll see how the motor goes long term, but first test, awesome. <laughs> 